Welcome back, Bolt Action fans, to another MGM Battle Report. Today we revisit the Western Front as U.S. forces attempt to repel a German assault. I will be playing against my son today, and before we get started, I would like to give a quick thank you to the folks over at Anything But A One. My battle reports were mentioned in episode 31 of their podcast. Quick thank you to Tom, Rich, and Ray. I'll put a link in the description if you would like to listen. For the list, the U.S. forces have a reinforced platoon with a veteran second lieutenant with a pistol and an attendant with a rifle. They have three squads of veteran paratroopers. Two of these have 12 men and one has 10. The NCOs have submachine guns and include one BAR. The rest are rifles, but they all carry anti-tank grenades. They will be backed up by a medium machine gun team as well as a bazooka team and a Sherman 75 with a pintle mounted medium machine gun and does not easily catch fire. The forces of Germany have a reinforced platoon with a veteran second lieutenant with an SMG and an attendant with a rifle. They have three squads of here grenadiers with 10 men each. Each NCO carries a submachine gun and two of the squads, three men carry assault rifles while in the last one there's just one. Each squad does have a light machine gun and a Panzerfaust and they will be backed up by a ferocious Tiger tank. Today's mission is Manhunt. The U.S. forces will deploy half of their forces rounded down within 12 inches of the center of the battlefield. The rest will come in reserves. The attacking Germans will nominate half of their forces rounded up to deploy on their table edge as the first wave. The rest of their forces will come in reserve. The Germans are attempting to capture the highest ranking officer on the battlefield, which is the U.S. second lieutenant. They will need to successfully assault this unit in close quarters and destroy it. For special rules, this is a confused fight with reserves entering all over the battlefield. From turn two onward, when reserves enter the fight, they can enter on any battlefield edge that their opponent didn't enter on last during that same turn. It should be interesting as U.S. forces attempt to protect the center were scheduled for seven turns, and turn one is coming up. Preparatory bombardment goes out from the Germans, and on a one, it does not materialize, but the attack will go forward. First die out of the bag belongs to the Americans, and the medium machine gun team takes an ambush. Next die out of the bag belongs to the Germans, and the Tiger tank makes its way onto the battlefield, pointing its main cannon at the U.S. infantry squad behind the wall. The Tiger positions do not afford the Americans any cover. Uh, the tank did move, so normally hitting on a 3, it is going to fire out an HE shell here. They are going to decide to go down, so that will make it a 5, and then the tank moved, so it will be 6s in order to hit them. So the HE shot goes out, and that shot is going to miss, and then the machine gun is going to rattle off as well. This is going to be 6 more shots, also hitting on 6s, and it looks like there will be 1 hit, and then they are veterans, so it needs a 5-up in order to kill. There is no kill, but they do receive a pin. Next die out of the bag belongs to the Germans, and one of the Grenadier squads is going to play a run order as they use the trees for cover, not giving that medium machine gun of the Americans any line of sight. Next die goes over to the Americans. The second lieutenant will go down, not having any viable targets. Next die out of the bag to the Germans, and their second lieutenant will run onto the board with his attendant. So a very quick turn one doesn't see a whole lot of action. The Americans did take a pin here as the veteran paratroopers hit the dirt on the machine gun shots from the Tiger tank. The German forces getting onto the board and making their way to the center. Turn two, we will start to see reinforcements turn up. U.S. forces get the first die for turn two, attempting to bring the Sherman in on the flank, and it is not going to come in. They needed an eight here. That tank will go down. The Germans draw the next die, and the Tiger tank is going to line up shots at the paratroopers again, who decide to hit the dirt. This time, the tank did not move, so it will be hitting on fives with a fire order. The HE shot will miss the target, but then six machine gun shots are going to rattle off, also needing fives because the unit went down, and two of these are going to connect, and because they are veterans, we will need fives in order to wound. 
of the two hits, one will cause a wound and it will not be exceptional. That will be another pin on that U.S. unit. And then the next die out of the bag belongs to the U.S. forces. They need a seven or below to bring in their bazooka team, which they get. And that bazooka team comes in on the flank and it's going to fire this bazooka at the tiger tank. Minus one to move and minus one for soft cover. The shot will need fives and this could be a big one here. And the shot is going to miss. The Germans then get an order die, attempting to bring in another Grenadier squad from reserves, needing a nine or less. They get that, and they come in from their own table edge here, and they are going to take aim at the bazooka team. And first, there will be shots from the assault rifles. These get two shots each, and there are three in this group, so that will be six total shots. Small team modifies the hit roll to a four. They do not suffer the minus one to move due to the assault special rule. Three of these are going to connect with the target, and then these guys are regulars, so fours will be needed, and it looks like both of those are going to be killed. U.S. forces pull the next die, attempting to bring in some paratroopers. They need a nine or less, and they will come in on the flank and immediately target those grenadiers that just entered on that other table edge. And first off, we're going to rattle off shots with the rifles, and there are 10 of these. These are short range. There's no penalty to move, and they need threes to hit. It looks like six of these are going to go through, and then these are veterans, so we will need fives in order to score damage here. Two casualties will be taken by the Germans. The submachine gun rattles off from the NCO, needing fours due to range, getting a minus one modifier there. That is going to be no hits. The BAR fires next with two shots. It will connect. It needed threes. It hits on that four, and that will also cause a wound. Three of these Germans will be taken down. The Americans pull again, sending the medium machine gun into ambush, and then from the back, the Germans pull the next die, and another here Grenadier squad is going to enter on the American deployment edge. So nobody came in on that edge. It is open, and a uh, order test is taken here, easily passed. They needed a nine because they are veterans. They make their way onto the battlefield, and they are going to open up fire against these veteran paratroopers who are down. And first off, we have the assault rifle firing, two shots there. Both of these are going to miss. It needs sixes followed by sixes as they did move. The paratroopers are down and it's long range. Rifles fire next and there's the potential to get a hit, but rerolling that six back out, it does not convert. The light machine gun will then fire one of the rifles acting as a loader and also sixes followed by sixes. There will be nothing in this set. German forces continue to pull order dice, and there will be an advance here by this Grenadier squad as they continue to use the trees on the left as line of sight blocking from the U.S. medium machine gun team in the building. Next order die will be the Americans. That backside is now open, and a group of paratroopers attempting to make their way onto the board, needing a nine or less. That is successful, and they come in behind the Tiger tank and behind this group of Grenadiers on the flank. The NCO leads the shots with his SMG, two shots coming out, and it is hitting on three, so there's no minus one to move on this weapon, and it looks like both of these are going to hit, and then needs a fives to do a wound as they are veterans. One, of, one wound will be taken, and it will not be exceptional. Next up, the BAR is going to fire two shots. Both of these are going to miss, and then the rifles are going to open up. They need threes as well, and we're going to see some terrible shooting from these uh, infantry, and it looks like only three hits are going to go through. Again, needing fives to wound, and there's no wounds. Only one taken down. With two order dice left, one goes to the Americans, and the second lieutenant takes an ambush. The last die goes to the Germans, and the second lieutenant will back up. The rifleman will take a shot, long range and movement, needs a five at the paratroopers. The shot misses, and that brings us to the end of turn two. We've got some American infantry in the center of the board. They are pinned down, getting sandwiched between the Tiger tank and the German infantry coming up the rear. And while the Americans were able to do some damage to one of the Grenadier squads, the U.S. forces did have their bazooka team eliminated. That makes them lose an order die. Overall, poor placement from the medium machine gun team has made him relatively ineffective. Turn 3 coming up. Turn three underway, the Germans will pull the first order die, and the Tiger Tank is going to play in advance, moving nine inches towards the center of the board, playing the objective here, need to get closer to the U.S. second lieutenant, 
and that tank is going to open up fire against that infantry squad. They do decide to go down again. The HE shot is going to miss. The machine gun fires next, and it should be sixes to hit here. I'm not sure what we were thinking as they went down and the tank moved. For some reason, uh, he grabbed two of the dice, the six and the four, and rolled these out looking for a five in order to cause damage, which he would get one, and that would remove a unit. They take their third pin. We messed that up. The Germans then pull the next order die, and a run issue is ordered, and this unit is moving up the road here, getting ever so close to the building. The Germans then pull the next order die, and the same will happen from the other Grenadier squad as they begin to surround the, the house that holds the objective. Next order die belongs to the German forces, and they need an 8 or lower in order to successfully complete an order, and they will do so. They are going to charge into these Americans. They do remove one of their two pens, and they launch themselves into an assault. We do have several tough fighters in this group with assault rifles and SMGs, so we are going to go ahead and roll those first. We are looking for fives here to do damage as the Germans make an attack, and there will be one out of this group, so we will re-roll that one for Tough Fighters. That's already one casualty, and that is two so far. We then have a few more swings coming from the German forces here, and they again are looking for fives, and it looks like they are going to cause one more casualty, three in total. The veteran paratroopers fight back, first from the NCO with his SMG. He's a tough fighter. He is going to miss. They do need fives as well. And then we've got the rifles and the BARs. They are going to take out three of the German forces. So we are going to fight another round. First, the Germans making another swing. These are tough fighters. One is going to be successful, getting another roll here for the tough fighter special roll. That is going to be two of the paratroopers destroyed. And then the paratroopers will fight back again. And it looks like they are going to get one for the tough fighter. And then the regular guys are going to roll out as well. And that is going to be one damage again. That is going to wipe the Germans down to a man and they will flee the battlefield. A quick consolidation roll for the paratroopers will allow them to continue to move up behind this Tiger tank. We then go back over to the Americans for the next order die, and the medium machine gun team is going to play in advance. This will allow them to pivot, and then they will fire at a minus one at these advancing grenadiers. They will need to pass a Tiger Fear test, however, which is minus one to their order die because they can see that Tiger throughout the window that is going to pass. They need it in the eight or less. So does need fours in order to hit, five dice going out. Four of these are going to hit, and then needing fives to cause damage. Four dice coming out, one wound is done. It is not going to be exceptional, however, even with a re-roll due to a cocked die. Next order die belongs to the Americans, and the second lieutenant moves to the window with his pistol and his attendant with a rifle. The pistol has the assault special rule, so there's no minus one to move. They do fire down at these grenadiers here, and these guys need threes in order to hit. And both of these are going to hit the targets, and again, needing fives to do a wound. There are no wounds, but that unit is now on two pins. The U.S. have the next order die. Passing a Tiger Fear test will allow these paratroopers to execute a run order. And then we go back to the Americans again. Again, passing a Tiger Fear test, needing a 9 or below. And we've got an advance order coming from these Americans here, moving out of the terrain up behind this Tiger tank. The last order die will go over to the Germans, and the second lieutenant is going to play a run order as he attempts to catch up to the pinned grenadiers. And the last order die out of the bag belongs to the Americans. The Sherman tank attempting to come in. They need an 8 or lower to successfully do that, and they will. The Sherman tank is coming in from their original deployment zone, which they can do because no German forces came in from that table edge in this particular turn. So in coming in, they are going to line up an HE shot. This should only be the 2-inch template. I got a little confused here and used the 3-inch. The shot is going to miss, however. Machine guns then fire 10 shots between the two of them. There's a hull mounted as well as a pental mounted machine gun needing fours due to the movement. And just abysmal, only one out of 10 is going to hit and needing fives to cause damage. There's no damage. 
So the end of turn three, pen markers are starting to fly across the board. The middle is getting pretty congested. The German forces have made their way to the building where the American second lieutenant is hiding. And it looks like that this game could still go either way, just depending on who draws that first order die. There's several pen markers out there on the forces. Will they pass order checks in order to keep this fight alive? Turn four is coming right up. And turn four goes to the U.S., and they're going to do a snap two action. And uh, these uh, unit of paratroopers here will activate. The second lieutenant is going to cancel out the minus one Tiger Fear. They have three pins on them, so they need a seven or less. They will get that, and they will have the opportunity to activate, and they're going to initiate a run into these Grenadiers, and we are going to go into close combat. And this is a pivotal move in this battle as the NCO is a tough fighter. He'll take the first swing and miss. The rest of the boys will swing as well, and they need fives. They are going to get two sixes here, so the potential to get exceptional damage, but that is not to be. They will take down two fighters before the Grenadiers have an opportunity to swing back. They will have four tough fighters in their group due to three assault rifles and the NCO with a submachine gun. And it looks like two of these are going to hit, so that's two casualties. We'll reroll for the Tough Fighters rule, and they are going to convert one more, so three in total so far. The rest of their guys are going to swing as well, needing fives, and it looks like they will convert one extra. So four in total, they will win combat and regroup. The next part of the snap two will be the second lieutenant as he fires down at the other Grenadier squad with his attendant with a rifle. We'll get one hit here, just needing threes on this fire order, but fives needed to cause damage, and that does not happen. Does give them another pin, though, and they are starting to get heavily pinned. The Grenadiers will attempt to activate next with the next dipole. They will fail their order test, and they will go down. So the combat shaking them up a bit. They don't have the courage to go into the building. We flip back over to the Americans as the Sherman 75 advances forward and then aims the main cannon at the Grenadier squad that's taken some pins already and going to fire those in the machine guns, the hull, and the pentel mounted. First, that HE shot goes out, does need fours due to movement, and that shot is going to miss. They've elected not to go down here. So the machine guns are up next, 10 shots in total from the hull mounted and the pentel mounted machine gun, also needing fours. And it looks like we're going to get four out of ten that are going to hit. And then they will need a fives in order to cause damage that will result in one damage. Is it an exceptional? No, it's not. Next order die goes over to the Germans, and the Tiger is issued an order to fire on the American paratroopers here, getting all 12 under the template, and what a huge mistake on the U.S. part. And only needing a 3 to hit here with this HE weapon, that is going to hit, and it's going to hit all 12 of them. So this is a penetration value of 3, and that means that they are going to take casualties on a 2-up with a normal save of a 5, and all of them are going to be successful. That entire unit is wiped. Germans pull another order die out of the bag and issue an order to the other Grenadier squad. They have four pins on them, so rolling up an eight will not pass and they will go down. Germans pull another order die and they will advance their second lieutenant into the woods. U.S. get the next activation, and the medium machine gun is going to fire at the Grenadiers that just hit the dirt. And because they did that, it will need fives to hit. So five dice come roaring out of the machine gun here, and it looks like one is going to hit. And they will need fives again because these guys are veterans, and that is not going to do anything. But they will take another pin. Back over to the Americans again when they pull the next order die. These paratroopers are just going to try to charge into this Tiger tank, trying to do what they can to cause some damage. And first they take uh, Tiger Fear, and they're only minus one because they are tank hunters. They will pass on this nine, make it into contact with the Tiger tank, and they are going to roll out six dice here. Now, because this tank stayed stationary this turn, they will hit on a four up. So dice coming out now, and it looks like three of them are going to be successful. But on a D6, there can't be enough to do anything against this Tiger's armor of ten. And with the end of turn four, we saw massive casualties on the American side. One entire squad of paratroopers eliminated by an HE shot, which was a big lesson learned by me, and another in close combat. So that fight could have went either way. Unfortunately for the Americans, they, the Germans got the better of them in close quarters, and this is going to make it very difficult for the Americans to come back and win. Turn five coming up. 
First order out of the bag belongs to the Germans. They have a pen on them, so we'll need a nine in order to pass this order test. They will remove that pen and they will charge into the house with a run order, getting into base contact with the medium machine gun team. They are immediately going to attack these targets and wipe this team out. The Sherman activates next and fires its main cannon with an HE shot at the Grenadiers. They do use this opportunity to go down, so they will be hit on fives. So that three is not going to make it. The machine gun shots will then rattle off five shots, once again needing fives. And that results in three hits and fives needed again to wound. There will be no wounds, but they will take another pin. The Americans pull the next die and they're going to attempt to charge into this Tiger one more time. They do pass their Tiger Fear check, needing a nine or less. They make it into combat and every one of them is going to miss. Just needing a four up, all of them miss. The tank commander here wonders what all the commotion is about as the Tiger roars down the street. And that is essentially going to bring this game to a close as there's not a whole lot the Americans can do at this point. The Germans do occupy the bottom level of the building and on the next turn, they will be able to move up top and easily capture the American second lieutenant. So what a fun game. I really like the scenario. I thought it was a lot of fun having everything kind of converge on the center and then confusion where the forces are coming in from both sides. I would say we learned a lot in this game. For number one, don't group all your units up so tightly when you're facing down a tank that has an HE weapon, especially a three inch one, because they can really do a lot of damage to your guys when they hit and their penetration value is three. Also, this was the first time we used a Snap 2 order, which I thought would work out better than it did. That charge that I did with the Americans was really the turning point in the game. Had they have won that combat, the other unit of Grenadiers would have had enough pins on them to where it would have been tough to activate moving forward. So I think the Americans would have won if they won that combat, but they did not. And that was the turning point of the game as the Germans were able to get inside the house. I hope you enjoyed this battle report of Bolt Action. Hopefully we didn't get too many rules more wrong and we're starting to show some signs of improvement. It's been really cool seeing some of the bigger YouTube channels get some Bolt Action battle reports because it's really just a ton of fun to play. I absolutely love the game. Wish I could play it more. And I do hope to make some more battle reports as I continue to expand my American and German forces as well as get my Soviets painted up here in the future. So thank you so much for watching. I would like to say thank you to my 2021 Coffee Supporters Club. Your names are on the screen now. And if you would like any information about that, there will be a link in the description below. Once again, thanks so much, and we'll see you next time.